I just made an entire army of myself. But let me explain how we got here. See, EchoCraft just updated to 1.18, and the entire server migrated to an epic new area 15,000 blocks away. But they forgot one thing. Me. So when I logged on, I was alone, abandoned, and surrounded by cake. Are these cakes a little salty, or is it just me? Well, I guess you can't spell deserted without dessert. But I was craving something not even these hundred cakes could satiate. Revenge. Which meant I would either need to make the 15,000 block journey myself, or take advantage of the new world spawn. The only problem is that now, I didn't have any tools or supplies. You know, I'm starting to think that wasn't such a big brain idea after all. Especially when a new server war just started. You see, after settling here in Echo Valley, the members divided into two teams, the caves and the cliffs. Very original, I know. But since both sides were guilty of deserting me in the old area, I decided to make my own army, consisting of the only entities I could trust me. See, with the help of a dispenser, a villager can wear things like carved pumpkins, wither skulls, and even player heads. So to create an entire army only requires two things. First, a lot of villagers. So I think that over 100 villagers is pretty fair for over 100 desertion cakes. Besides, nobody else seems to have any villagers of their own, so anytime they want to trade, they have to look into my big purple eyes and beg for forgiveness. But how exactly was I going to get over 100 pairs of my purple pupils? Painfully. <laughs> okay, so over 100 concussions later, and I think we have enough of my heads. For now. Now having your own personal army is pretty cool, but using it to escalate a server war to get both sides to prank each other, essentially getting my revenge for me, that sounds way more fun. And as it turned out, both the caves and the cliffs wanted to recruit me. But what they didn't know was the prize for the strongest pitch wasn't my alliance, it was my first prank. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. Look, palace. look how majestic it is. Don't you want to be a part of that? Yes, wow. this is known as the Haiku Gate. Um, just in uh -huh. case you didn't know, it's very, very lovely. Oh, and, is that uh, Lucid? No, that, that was a previous visitor. If he does resist, Lucid. we take him out. Yeah. <laughs> so how would you describe your stance on the cave dwellers? Are they dirty Smeagles? Are they just friends who are lost? Here, let me pull out the handbook. Our mission statement is to show the world the beauty and superiority of the cliffs through... <clears throat> What's, what's that word? Um, um, uh, hyperbolic emblems of <clears throat> okay. beauty. Oh, take my breath away. You guys have actually put together a pretty strong team. I mean, you've got the no block master. You've got the redstone masters. That was, that was, I swear that was an accident. I did not mean to do that. I just keep blowing this. I'm so sorry. Well, um, despite you guys trying to kill me, I do think you have a very lovely base and a very strong moral compass as well. So you've really given me a lot to think about here. It's been I a would, good chat, I, Branzy. Yeah, I would, lovely. I would fly out dramatically, but I can't. So I'm just going to walk away awkwardly instead. So it was an aggressive pitch. But there was still one more side to this war. The big mounds are awesome and everything, but they like, are. look, they've already built a giant fortress. Like, what are you going to do? Go up there and uh, just hang out in their fortress that they're already done with? Right. So much potential like, down here. And I don't like being told what to do. I don't like when people tell me, hey, Branzi, you need to be on the cliffs because we killed our own team member. So now you have to be part of our team. <laughs> What? Yeah, That's a terrible know. selling point. You got friends down here, man. You got friends down here who want you to be around. We're not just looking for you to add numbers. We want you to be here. We want you to be here. I do have one concern about the, the, the caves. Um, well, honestly, I have a lot of concerns about you because you are a notorious traitor and liar and killer. But I'm also willing <laughs> to put those aside. <laughs> You're all living in a pretty close proximity to one another um, in a confined space, and I'm wondering about the smell. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, <laughs> it's really hot down here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, <laughs> really I'm not gonna lie. Just the air itself smells of sulfur and rotten eggs, and it, not to mention, you know, once you get a bunch of bodies down here. Well, you know what I call that? Musky. Besides musky. Yeah.
<laughs> That's the smell of friendship. It is the smell of friendship. As someone who thinks you should pick the caves, I give you this. <gasps> A totem of undying mini-me. The gift of yourself. You're just the sweetest. I, I want to give you myself too. I will do that later. Not now. That's okay. That sounded whoa, weird. Whoa, now I'm going to just, whoa. I'm going to go. Okay. This has been oh fun. Was Tiger bribing me to join his team? Probably. And I respect it. Kind of like when YouTubers bribe their audience by saying, subscribe and like for a cookie. But, and I don't know how to say this, but the cookie is a lie. However, the cakes were not. And since Tiger's pitch included both confined spaces and gifts, my two favorite things, he unknowingly won both the pitch and my first prank. So I decided that my first order of business as the self-proclaimed Cliff General Supreme was to announce my allegiance to my enemies the only way I know how. Invade the cave base with my entire army. And I was gonna need some help. I made a terrible oopsie, my friend. A terrible oopsie. Okay, we all do that. There's just slightly too many in this area. Is this why the server's been lagging so much? Shh, 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 it's fine. Everyone's fine. If I can control how fast they go through the portal with trap doors, then we can place the dispenser on the other side. Could we have the dispenser just spamming? That's a good idea, yeah. There you go. Oh. That's the sound of things working. Yeah, we're good. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna send some more through, just test okay. subjects. Okay. Here they come. Um, excuse me, test subjects, I need you to... I'm ready to receive. Sorry, they're not cooperating. Oh, there's one, Brandy. Okay, here comes some more. Where did they all go? I think they all went back through. Oh, no. The army is on its way. Who called the cavalry? <laughs> There's so many. Wow, they look so uh, handsome. Friendly. No, all, all, all the eyes, all the purple eyes. <laughs> Frenzy, 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 Frenzy. Where is the real Brancy? Does anyone know? <laughs> I guess you can't know. I'm gonna release him. All right, you're free. Free to wander. Oh, our first customer. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Bad customers, bad customers, bad customers. Ah, oh, they've escaped again. I thought they were free. How can someone who's free be escaping? I mean, yeah, they're free. <laughs> <laughs> we had just successfully moved over 100 members of the army over to the cave's base at this point, completely undetected. But our luck was about to run out because one of the cave's most ruthless members was about to log on. Gosh, we're so close to the Earth's core, it's boiling. Luckily, I had a foolproof escape plan that she'd never see coming. Just blend in. Just blend in before blend she in. sees. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> she, I don't think she knows which one is me. I'm right. gonna sit in this hole with them and hope for the best. Oh, she's right next to me. Oh no, I'm gonna- Ah, she found me! She found the real me! I've been made! I'm disguising. I'm hiding amongst my people. Just act like you're one of them. Just jump. Go, 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 run! Please! Please. Ah, she's oh no, firing. she's missing. Ah. Oh no, 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 Ah, she's trying to cut me off. Ah, she's back into the crowds. Ah! Ah! We're helpless. You have an arrow We're in your helpless. face. Oh, ah, no. she shot a villager. She, she means business. Me. We gotta get out of here. Ah! Ah! No. Ah! Fortunately, ZL and I both managed to escape, and our mission was a success. But you might be thinking, Ramsey, didn't you just help the caves by giving them villagers that could easily breed to make an army of their own? Well, I mean, you have to remember that. And didn't you actually just help the cliffs by pranking their enemy, aligning yourself with them to a point that you actually have to team with them for your own safety? I don't know where you're getting all this information, but meaning instead of getting vengeance for your friends deserting you, you actually helped all of them instead? You're right. But the thing to remember, um, is that, hmm, god dang it.